everyone. I am Lily Cavazos with the HB Zachary Orchestra, and I am doing a tutorial on how to make playalongs quickly and efficiently. So, um, I took a long time on my first one because I was making this whole entire template and animations and all that other stuff. Uh, but now that I have my template, I'm able to plug and chug and pull these out pretty quickly. So if you want my template, email me. I will send it to you, share whatever stuff you make, and it'll be fantastic. So um, this is actually my Feliz Navidad template. And uh, I went ahead already and I started changing some things. I changed it to Jingle Bell Rock. I changed the background. To change the background, I did a format background. I put in whatever picture uh, I had saved on my computer. And you could change the dimensions here, apply to all, and your background is set. Um, Feliz Navidad, it had uh, white text, white letters. So I just kind of highlighted the whole thing and then I turned them into black letters. So um, that helped out. Uh, my templates with rests, I don't have any rests in Jingle Bell Rock, so I just deleted those. Um, this already comes with the animations because it's from a different song. Um, so animations, you could see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're all set to pulse, which is that kind of like blinking or slightly getting bigger note that you get uh, whenever you click on your mouse or your space bar. Transitions are just going on to the next one. So um, I got Jingle Bell Rock from this website that I frequent a lot, uh, karaokeversion.com. It is fantastic. Uh, for example, my Feliz Navidad set, um, if I want to actually give the music out to my kiddos, let's say next year, and have them use the percussion backing track or, um, you know, all the different cool sounds that they have, I could do that. I could customize it right here. Um, if I have a song that is in the key of not friendly or like E, not very friendly for some of my groups, um, I can actually change this a four half steps up and four half steps down. So four in either direction to get to a friendly key. So if you're doing um, band and you wanna get to those flat keys because us orchestra people like those sharp keys, you can easily get there. Um, so now it is band friendly. Um, download it for $2.99 and you have this forever. Uh, some of my songs are, are several years old. I also don't want to listen to my song a thousand times to get the notes I need for my um, for my play along. So I go to ultimateguitar.com. I type in the song name, chords. Um, I could pick which chords I want and it lays it all out for me. A lot of the easier songs only have four chords, um, maybe five. So uh, it kind of lays out where what notes to play, where to go, which ones will make sense. And I don't have to listen to the song a thousand times. Um, Right now, I haven't listened to Jingle Bell Rock yet. Uh, I'm going to see if these make sense after I make it, but I know they will for the most part, if not all completely, because of this. So that saves a lot of time. Um, and I know we don't want to spend a lot of time on something because it is a crazy year and we have other things to do, like grade stuff and other things. So once you have it all laid out, um, there was a lot of copy pasting going on. It is time to record. You, I use Screencastify because it is free. It is free. You'll see it right here, my little Screencastify thing. Um, and it's faster than using Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro. Uh, so I don't know how to make a video of me making a video. If you know how to, let me know. But it looks like this when you are done recording. Um, it's, it's a screencastify, uh, you could open it and set the sound to, um, turn off your mic and then to get the sound from the browser itself. That way, when I'm clicking through the PowerPoint, uh, it doesn't pick up my mouse clicks or my, my space bar, um, or any surrounding sound. It just picks up what's coming from the computer, which is fantastic. Um, you could trim the edges. Once you're done sharing, it 
goes to this screen. You could trim the edges. If you want to go into more detailed editing, you could open an editor, which is also free. Um, but I haven't used that because it's just a straight shot going all the way through. Um, download it, export it, audio only. So if you want to, you know, just get the sound, you could get that too. And um, if you are logged in to your YouTube account email, you can publish it straight to YouTube and not have to go through anything else, uh, which is super easy. Again, saves a lot of time and I don't have to worry about stuff. Um, so if you have any questions, that was super fast <laughs> run through. If you're confused on some stuff, because I did just kind of fly through it. If you have any questions, you want more info, you want my template, let me know. Orchestra at gmail.com. And I will be more than happy to help you. Oh, this little thing right here. To add the sound, uh, you insert audio. I inserted some from my computer. Uh, when I go to playback, which is what I want to do, I play it in the background so that it could go across all my slides without stopping. And then I just click hide during show. So when I go to run it, it doesn't hide or it doesn't show during during my presentation. Um, and that's pretty much it. So let me know um, what y'all think. Hopefully this helps you out. Uh, please share all the content you make. The more content out there, uh, more resources we have, the better for all of us. We are all in this crazy year together. Uh, so y'all have a wonderful day and have a wonderful, restful, happy holidays. Go home. Don't stay at school too long. You'll have a fantastic one. Take care.